a recap we should trade as per the trend so for trading we will use different indicator as per the requirement in the ranging market we will use bowling band whereas in trending market we will use moving average or even we can use fibonacci so coming back we were discussing about trading with candlestick pattern in this our next topic is the engulfing bar candlestick pattern the engulfing bar pattern is one of the most powerful and profitable price action pattern knowing how to use it properly as an entry signal will tremendously improve your trading profitability in this section we will learn how to use the engulfing bar pattern profitability it doesn't matter if you are beginner or advanced trader if you are looking for seriously a better trading strategy more than what you are being using you have to come you have come to right place what is an engulfing bar pattern this reversal candlestick pattern consists of two opposite colored bodies in which the second body engulfs or covers entirely the first one a bullish engulfing pattern forms at the end of a downtrend it is provides it provides a clear signal that the buying pressure has overwhelmed the selling pressure in other words the buyer are now involved a bearish engulfing pattern occurs at the end of an uptrend it is a top trend reversal indicator it shows that the bulls are now more in control of the market and the price trends and the price trend is likely to reverse see the illustration below according to steve nison the father of modern candlestick charting this candle must meet three important criteria to be considered as a reversal pattern first the market is in a clearly definable uptrend or downtrend second the engulfing candle comprises of two candlesticks and the first body is entirely engulfed by the second one third the second real body is the opposite of the first real body how to trade the engulfing bar price action signal to trade profitably this chart candlestick pattern you need to respect three important element first is trend second is level and third is signal first the trend if you look at a, at any chart you will notice that there is there are times when the market is moving clearly in one direction and times where it is moving sideways to be honest trading the engulfing bar pattern with the train train is the easiest way to make money in the market you don't need to highly knowledgeable about technical analysis to determine whether the market is trending or not make it stupid simple if the market is making series of higher highs and higher lows it is about an uptrend market if the market is making series of lower highs and lower lows it is simply about a downtrend market the illustration above shows a clear uptrend and you don't need to use any indicator to determine whether is market is trending or not just look at your chart and try to apply the concept of higher highs and higher lows and vice versa when you are analyzing your chart bear in mind that markets move in trend and trading with the trend is most important element in your technical analysis there's no more important than the trend do not never 
try to fight it or to control it otherwise you will pay expensively for every trying you can't make money under any market condition no matter how powerful is your trading system you have to be patient enough and let the market tell you what direction is going to take successful traders say the trend is your friend if you want to master trading the engulfing bar pattern again successful traders say the trend is your friend if you want to master trading the engulfing bar pattern your first rule is to follow market direction in other words the trend should be your best friend second the level also called liquidity when you find a clearly definable uptrend or downtrend the next step is to identify the most important level in the market it means the most powerful support and resistance if price test a support level and stop this is an indication that buyers are there this area is watched by all participants in the market because it represents a great buying opportunity conversely if price tests a resistance level and support stop in an uptrend this is a clear signal that seller selling strength is in the market the example below shows how the market participants interact with support and resistance level these levels take different form such as trend line channel flag triangle or your ability to identify them in your chart will help you find better price level in the market in trending markets when price passes through resistance level that resistance could become support see the illustration above to understand how to trade the engulfing bar pattern with support and resistance in a bullish or a bearish trend there are other technical tools that can help you find the best level in the market such as supply and demand area moving average and fibonacci retracement ratio third the signal the signal here is an engulfing bar pattern you can apply the same rule when trading the inside bar candlestick pattern your ability to identify an engulfing candlestick at a key level or a clear uptrend or downtrend will greatly enhance the probabilities of making a winning trade see another example below trading the engulfing bar with moving averages trading the engulfing bar pattern with moving averages provide a very profitable trading strategy however the lack of knowledge about using the moving average can damage dramatically your trading account traders use moving average in different ways as a trend following tool to identify the direction of the trend so they buy the market when price are above 200 simple moving average and they sell the market when it is below 200 simple moving average to determine whether the market is overbought or oversold we just watch how price interact with the moving average for example in an uptrend if price moves far from the moving average this is an indication that the market is overbought it predict the trend change by using the crossover strategy if the moving average crosses over another it is a signal of a trend reversal as a trading system the moving average have disadvantages 
this is why you have to know how to use it successfully under the right market condition this trading technical tool doesn't apply to all market don't never try to use it in a range bound or untradable market because you will get lot of false signal and you will definitely blow up your trading accounts to the best of my knowledge using the moving average as a dynamic support and resistance in a trending market in combination with engulfing bar pattern signal is the perfect way to make money in the market the strategy is very simple we will use the 21 and 8 simple moving average in the daily and our four time frame we will define a clear bullish and bearish market and we simply buy the market when price pull backs as any trading system the moving averages also have its advantages this is why you have to know how to use it successfully under the right market conditions this trading technical tool doesn't apply to all markets do not never try to use it in a range bond or untradable markets because you will get lots of false signals and you will definitely blow up your trading account to the best of my knowledge using the moving average as a dynamic support and resistance in trading market in combination with engulfing bar pattern signal is the perfect way to make money in the market the strategy is very simple we will use the 21 and 8 simple moving average in the daily and 4 hour time frame we will define a clear bullish and bearish market and we will simply buy when the market pulls back to the moving average and an engulfing bar pattern forms see the illustration below conversely if the moving average is trending down it shows that the market is a downtrend we sell when price reacts to the moving average the screenshot below shows how price interact with the moving average as dynamic resistance level and how the engulfing bar pattern represents a high profit probability setup next how to trade the engulfing bar with fibonacci retracement traders use fibonacci retracement in different ways however the most important fibonacci retracement level are the 50% and the 61% fibonacci retracements knowing how to use this tool in conjunction with japanese candlestick will definitely maximize your potential according to chart technique technicians the most major move retracement around 50% and 60 1 percent fibonacci retracement again according to chart technician the most major moves retrace around 50 and 61 percent with fibonacci retracement level this knowledge will provide you with the ability to predict with high accuracy the next major move in the market this strategy is very simple you decide a clear uptrend or downtrend and then you define major corrective levels by using fibonacci retracement tool if you see an engulfing bar pattern matches off with 50% and or 61% levels it is powerful price action trading signal like we see in the chart below in the example the engulfing bar price action signal matches up with the 50 and 61% fibonacci retracement level the resistance level that becomes support is often confirmed 
to take the high probability setup. This trading setup is very powerful. Here is another example below that illustrates the power of 50 and 61 Fibonacci retracement. Trading the market from 50% and 61% Fibonacci level means you are trading from both price level. As a result, you will put as many probabilities in your favor as possible. And that will allow you to become one of the most successful traders. Next, trading the engulfing bar with trade lines. Trade lines gives traders an idea about the psychology of the market, especially the psychology behind buying buyers and sellers. Moreover, it allows professional traders to determine whether the market is pessimistic or optimistic. This technical trading tools is used in different ways, either as support and resistance by drawing them horizontally, or to identify price and time by drawing line trade lines vertically. There is no wrong way in using trade lines. In trading market, we use simply trend lines to highlight a trend by correcting swing highs and swing lows in price. This way helps us find high probability entry setup in line with the general trend of the market. By connecting the extreme highs, we had a trend line that acted as a resistance level and formation of the engulfing bar pattern shows a good selling opportunity. If you use horizontal support resistance level, you will miss this profitable trade. Learning about how to draw trade line is never a bad idea because it is the simplest analyst analytic tool that you can use to analyze financial market. It works in all market, whether it is forex, commodities, futures, or options. The chart above shows a bullish trend. The trend line acts as a support level. The price action signals that occurred created a great buying opportunity. Next, how to trade the engulfing bar in sideways market. One of the most difficult market to predict can be the sideways or ranging market. I always recommend traders to focus on trading, trending markets. But the problem is that the market spends more than 70% of their time in ranging motion. If you focus just on trading market, you will probably leave a lot of money on the table. This is the reason why they learn why learning how to approach range bond market is most if you want to make decent living trading financial market. So what is a range bond market when the market stops making higher highs and higher lows in case of an uptrend or downtrend? or lower highs and lower lows in case of a downtrend. The price start acting between specific high price and low price. This is a clear signal that market is ranging and no longer trending. See the illustration below. As you see in the example above, the market is trendless. It is trading between horizontal support and resistance. And you can't apply same techniques that you use in trending market to trade engulfing bar patterns in range bond markets. Let me give you an example. When you are driving your car, you don't always drive the same way. If you're driving downtown, you try to drive slowly, but you know that driving fast can put your life or others life in danger but when you're driving in highway your driving style changes completely because you know that you can drive fast so you always try to adopt 
your driving style to the appropriate situation. You have to do the same thing when you are trading the engulfing bar pattern because all price action strategy we discussed before will not work in the range bond market. You have to use the right technique that fits these market condition. Before talking about the right way to trade trendless markets, you have to be selective about trending trading range bound market to protect your trading account because not all sideways market are worth trading. You have to know how to differentiate between sideways and choppy market. See the illustration below about choppy markets. As it is illustrated above, the market trades in a choppy way. We can't identify major support level and resistance. You have to stay away from these type of markets. Otherwise, you will definitely damage your trading account. Trading the engulfing bar candle in range bound market is very simple. The first strategy is going to be about trading this price action pattern from major support and resistance level like we see below. The second strategy is to trade the breakout of the range or to wait for the pullback. See the registration below. The third strategy is to trade the false breakout of the major support or resistance level. False breakouts are one of the most powerful price action strategy. It occurs in all type of market. If you know how to use it in a combination with engulfing bar pattern in a major support level or resistance, you will make money in the market because you will buy intelligently the bottom and sell the top. See the illustration below. Next, trading the engulfing bar with supply and demand zones. Supply and demand areas are more powerful than support and resistance. It is the place where banks and institutions are buying and selling in the market. If you can identify these turning points, you will make a difference in your trading account. To trade the engulfing bar pattern successfully with demand and supply areas you have to be able to identify quality supply and demand levels on a chart according to my experience there are three factors that defines quality supply and def demand areas first the strength of the move second good profit zone third bigger time frames first the strength of the move pay more attention to where the price leaves the zone if market leaves the area quickly this is an indication that banks and institutions are there second good profit zone you have to my make sure that the level provides a good risk reward ratio third bigger time frames the daily and four hour supplies and demand area. The daily and four hour supply and demand areas are the most powerful zone in the market. The chart below shows a quality supply and demand area, and you can see the move was very strong, and that indicates that bank and institution were there. This formation of engulfing bar was a clear signal that the bears are still willing to sell from this same price level. See another example of these areas. I think that it's not complicated to identify these zones because they are characterized by strong moves. The secret behind supply and demand area is the big player put their pending orders there. When the market approaches to this zone, we see a crazy move from this level. If you can combine trading 
supply and demand area with the engulfing bar price action signal you will increase your chance to make money as a next is money management trading rules so far you have learned how to identify high probability setup in the market this doesn't mean that all engulfing bar patterns are worth trading price action signals with low risk reward ratio should be ignored once the criteria for a high probability setup are in place there is no more analysis to be made just make sure your trade has a potential of 2 is to 1 risk to reward ratio i mean that the amount of money you will win has to be twice the amount of money you will risk or more see an example below as you can see all the conditions were in place to take the buy order the market was ranging as we discussed before major demand and supply zone are the best price level in sideways market the formation of an engulfing bar in the demand area is a good trading opportunity but you have to look at the risk reward to make sure that the trade respects your money management rule the trade has 3 is to 1 risk to reward ratio which increases your chances to win the long term because if you risk $200 in this trade you are likely to win $600 it is very important to calculate your risk to reward ratio before trading taking any single trade case study imagine you have 10 trades with 3 is to 1 risk to reward ratio on each single trade i mean you win win $600 when the market goes against you you will lose $200 let's suppose you lost 7 trade and won 3 trades let's do the math to know if you are a winner or loser 7 losing trades will cost you $1400 and three winning trade will make you eighteen hundred dollar as you see you lost seven trades but you are still making money this is the magic of money management the entry and exit strategy don't try to be smart don't try to be smarter than the rest of the trader Keep it simple. You know what you are looking for. When you identify an engulfing bar pattern and you think all conditions are in place to execute your trade, take an order immediately after the price action signal forms. The entry and exit strategy. Don't try to be smarter than the rest of the traders. Keep it simple. You know what you are looking for. When you identify an engulfing bar pattern and you think all conditions are in place to execute your order, take an order immediately after the price action signal forms. Put your stop loss below the candlestick pattern or and look at a sim look at simply the chart to find the next support and resistance level. This is going to be your profit target. See the illustration below. When you set your protective stop and your target, don't never look back. Let the market tell you if you are wrong or right. This will help you trade successfully out of your emotion. If the market goes against you, you will not feel good it's normal losing money can be emotionally painful it is our human nature nobody wants to lose especially when it is about money in the trading environment you have to think differently 
and accept the, that market that losing is part of the game. Studies have shown that mark successful traders don't risk more than 2% of the entire equity on each single trade. If you are a beginner, don't risk more than 1%. Don't risk money you can't afford on a single trade. Even if the engulfing bar pattern you identify indicates a high probability signal. No matter how smart you are, you have to think always in terms of probabilities. Bear in mind that you can experience series of losing trade. If you risk too much money, you will not survive longer. The next is the inside bar candlestick pattern. The inside bar candlestick pattern is one of the most powerful chart setup that professional traders look out. However, most traders fail to trade is successfully. Lack of skills and knowledge or poor education and the major reasons why most price action traders don't make money trading this Japanese stick. What is an inside bar candlestick pattern? An inside bar is a two candlestick. The first one is called the mother candle. It is big and large. And the second one is smaller and it is located inside the mother bar. The illustration above shows inside bars at the top and bottom as you can see. The second small bar is completely contained by the first bar which is in the opposite of the engulfing bar pattern. The inside bar is seen as reversal pattern because it indicates that the market trend is likely to change especially when it is located at the top or bottom. It is also considered as a continuous signal in a strong trending market. According to Thomas Bolkowski, a successful investor and trader with over 30 years of market ex experience. A bearish inside bar pattern is a bull market. A bearish inside bar pattern in a bull market can indicate a bearish reversal in about 65% of the time. And in bull market, it represents a bullish continuous signal in about 52% of the time and a bullish abandoned baby as he called it is considered as bullish reversal pattern 70% of the time in the bulls market and 55 in the bear market next the psychology behind the pattern formation the inside bar Formation indicates a period of consolidation in case of bullish trend. It reflects that the bulls are not buying any further and on the second day. It is represented by a small black candle on the second day after a strong uptrend. And in case of bearish trend, it means that sellers are not in control of the market anymore. It is reflected by a small white candle after a strong downtrend. Your understanding of the psychology behind this pattern will help you better identify major turning points in the market and time correctly your entry exit. How to trade the inside bar candlestick pattern? The inside bar can be traded successfully in trending market, particularly if the market is moving strongly because the formation of this price pattern provides you with a great opportunity to join the big move. This strategy is very simple. You have to identify a strong trend and wait for formation of an inside bar pattern in line of the direction of the market. The formation of this pattern indicates that market pauses before making its next move. This will allow you to enter the market in right time 
and make big profits. See the illustration below to learn more. As it is illustrated above, the market is trending down. The formation of inside bar pattern gives us three opportunity to join the trend. In the illustration, we are entering again once this breakout occurs. If you are using if you are used to our trading approach, you will also look for selling opportunity this way. We will not fight big institutions and central banks. You are just trading in the direction that is favored by the market. You can place a sell order after the breakout of the pattern as it is mentioned in the chart above and you, your stop loss order should be placed above the mother candle your profit target in the next support level see the example below from the above chart we can see how this price action setup work significantly as a continuous continuation chart pattern you have to look for significant pattern that form in specific areas in the market such as support and resistance, Fibonacci retracement level, moving average or pivot. Don't worry about that because we will learn about the important trading tools that we will need to use in combination with inside bar setup to make the best trading decision. How to trade the inside bar breakout with support and technical analysis can be very complicated if you don't focus on most important basics such as support and resistance level these areas represent a psychological level when the game is played between buyers and sellers let me give you an example if sellers overcome buyer they will push the price below the support level some buyers will feel afraid to lose money because they see the support level is broken so they will get out and sell market again to cover their loss.